my first question for you is, what is it about this series that makes it so different than other relationship stories? The end, which you haven't gotten to yet. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Really, it, it's now I have to watch. Now I have to binge. Oh, you just went straight to the ruin it part. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Without giving anything away, like the the show has an unbelievably fascinating twist in it, and it's it's not like a you know a crazy reveal that everything you've been watching has been you know wrong or that the characters are actually you know ghosts or whatever. It's just this really brilliant idea about the way we view. Um, you know, relationships in one-sided ways. So you're seeing, you're halfway through, so like you're seeing the relationship really through my perspective. Um, I'm kind of telling my, my childhood friend everything that my wife has done wrong, and she's narrating the show, and she presents my wife as this kind of just horribly ambitious, neglectful mother-wife. But um, as the show continues, you'll see, and I don't want to spoil anything, but as you'll see, the show shifts perspective, and you realize that what you've been watching has been kind of one-sided. Yeah. That sounds Yeah, wonderful. no, there's this really kind of wonderful subversion that happens, um, yes, at, at, at the, uh, the near, near the end. Um, and uh, all of these assumptions that you've made are, uh, are, are turned on their head. Yeah. And Taffy had mentioned how she loves watching, you know, you, you work and, and bring these characters to life because you bring much more than what's on the page. You know, there's a, a sentence and you bring years of experience and, and, and relationship and, and, and emotion to it. What is uh, some of your process of developing these characters because you are only given the script. So how, you know, how, how do you go about that? Well, you know, kind of the advantage of doing something that is based on a book is you have this not only like rich source material, um, you know, but you have the writer who's writing the show and has adapted her own, you know, lengthy novel, um, you know, so if the show wasn't as rich as it is, you might, you know, also need to rely on a book. Luckily, you know, we had both. So, um, you know, there was just an endless amount of, uh, you know, kind of research at our disposal about what our characters were thinking, where they grew up, how they lived, what their world perspectives are, what their values are, what their opinions about relationships are. So, you know, there was just a wonderfully rich history that was already written for us. And her language is very specifically her own. And, um, and it's, uh, there's a lot of it, right? Um, which I enjoy. I, I, I happen to love words. Uh, and uh, there's, a, there's a really particular kind of musicality that we had to kind of make sense of. And, uh, um, and that was just a great gift, actually. There, there was a lot of, lot of kind of chewy material <laughs> to, um, to have fun with, yeah. Do you work on this together, like initially, or do you, like when do you start? When did when's the reveal? When you are on set and you see Jesse, and you say, "Okay, now this now Jesse's Toby," or do you do you work before you're on the set to kind we of develop? We had a bit this? of rehearsal. We had a couple of cast dinners, which I do find really helpful, just um, to get a basic sense of who the team is, um, and we had you know fairly abbreviated rehearsals, but they were dense and efficient. Um, and we were able to mine a lot in a short period of time. Um, and I just think it was very well cast. Uh, so so all of a lot of the work was kind of already done. You know? um, but yeah, I think you start you start discovering it in real time with each other um, as you're you know, as the cameras are rolling. Um, but it was just very intuitive and joyful throughout, even though we were, you know, not, we, we were <laughs> in a lot of agony together. It still, as, as actors, was very pleasant. <laughs> very, uh, it just, it feels so, very fulfilling, at least. Mm -hmm. It feels so natural, the ups and the downs. So it's just like, I'm always curious about the process because it doesn't always happen. The chemistry isn't always there. And when it is there, it's like, that's magic because then you, you know, can just get true, involved in the No, it's true, it's true. And I don't think that we could necessarily take credit for it. That's just, that was just oh. a wonderful thank you 
you know, given. Yeah. I'm going to say it's a team effort. So let me wrap up with a quick one. Um, Three words to describe your characters. And I'll give you extra credit if you can each, from your character's perspective, um, analyze the other or describe the other. Yeah. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for letting us have three words because the last interview we had only one word to describe the whole show. And now we get three for our characters. This is a word I didn't expect. Um, You know, my character, Wait, I can do my character first? Yeah. Oh, got it. I see what you're saying. So Rachel, from Toby's perspective... Correct. um, And then Rachel, from Rachel's perspective? No, then Toby, from Rachel's perspective. Got it. So it's a one... Yeah. So... Oh. Okay. I will say things that at the beginning seem like wonderful that then turn from his perspective into like these really, you know, unsustainable, toxic behaviors. So he loves her ambition. He loves her... um, um self-possession which is hyphenated so it's one and um (laughs) he loves um her you know kind of um her uh her calculation these all turn into these are wonderful at the start and then these same things turn into quality c abhors and then are you and then are you also supposed to say what rachel's qualities are from rachel's perspective no 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 rachel's rachel's perspective of toby okay um uh steadfast mm-hmm. um uh analytical gooey that's an interesting that was kind of unexpected <laughs> last one I've, I've never heard that one before. Um, <laughs> that's how they describe a baby oh wait wait part. no no that's yeah actually yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but that that's what happened in my brain. And it. All right, be... we'll take it. We only have three words, so <laughs> you could use the hyphen, but you didn't. So, all right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank uh, you. Best of luck. I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, seeing oh, finish the other it. Finish it. It's fascinating. Or, yeah. I will. I can't stop okay, now. Okay. Okay, yeah, right. of course.